In this video, I'll show you how to connect an existing Google Sheets to your App Machine app. This is a way to quickly populate your app with information which you already have. In this example, I'm creating a new app based on the Google Sheets template. If you already have an app, you don't need to create a new one. In that case, open the Data tab in the left side navigation, click Add Table and choose Google Sheets. First you have to log into your Google account. Click Sign in with Google and select your account, then click Continue. When your account is linked, you can select the spreadsheet which you want to connect to your app. In this example, we will use a sheet with a list of people in it. Based on the sheet, App Machine automatically will add a list block and a detail block to your app, which we will show you in a minute. For now, you can just click the Finish button. Now you see all the information from your Google Sheet in App Machine. You see the same columns and you see the information itself. We need to make a little adjustment for the images because currently you see a URL in the image column and not the images itself. To solve this, we need to change the data type. Open the Fields tab, select the Image field, and change the data type to Image, and click on Yes. Go back to the Data tab, and you'll see that all of the images are now displayed correctly. When you open your Content tab of your app, you will see two new green blocks in your app. The first green block shows the list of people. There is also a detail block which shows all the information of each person. This default view already looks great. You can easily configure which information from your Google Sheet is shown. Select or deselect the fields or switch the layout of the whole screen. I now want to show you that the Google Sheet, the information on the Data tab, and the information in your app are all connected. We are back on the Data tab with the People Google Sheet selected. We see nine people in the sheet, Alice is the last one. This is the Google Sheet itself, where you also see the same nine people, on row 2 through 10. This is the Data tab of App Machine again. Let's remove Sarah Jones from the list. Select Sarah, choose Delete and confirm yes to really delete her from the table. We don't see Sarah anymore in App Machine. Now, if we go back to our Google Sheet, you'll see that she disappears automatically because the Google Sheet and the list in App Machine are connected. It will work the same if you add, update or delete something in your Google Sheet. The changes will become visible in App Machine after you have synchronized the data. We will show you how that works. The first person in the list is Alice. Let's delete that row. When you open the App Machine tab again, you click this sync icon to synchronize your Google Sheets changes to App Machine. You see that Alice now also disappeared in App Machine. So this is how you can create screens in your app very quickly using information you already have in a Google Sheet. The information will be synced between your Google Sheets and your app automatically. There is another video which shows how you can also make it possible to change information like this from within the app itself. Be sure to check the videos shown above or in the description below for other interesting features of App Machine. 